Okay, general statement. I thought, I thought our, uh, I thought our players played hard today. I thought they, I think the way we opened the game allowed us to win tonight. I want to say something like seventeen to three. Correct me if I'm wrong. And when you dig somebody down a hole that deep, uh, that's a large hole to come out to come out of. They did come and make a good run at us. I want to say they cut it to three or four, but then we opened it up again. Um, I'm very happy to get the victory. Uh, Kevin Tilbury has been playing very well offensively as of late, uh, and we needed that because Imani did not play well today, and uh, and so we got good games from uh, you know West Ethan and Kevin as far as uh, offensive production, shooting 48% from the field. Uh, I was a little disappointed with our rebounding, and a little disappointed with the way we handled the press there at the end. Uh, we beat a team that was hot today. They beat Arlington and Monroe back to back before coming in here. So I'm very pleased to get the win. Very proud of our players, and uh, you know I think we're we're putting ourselves in a pretty good position. I'm not going to say it's a certain position. I, uh, Rob told me now we we'd be the seventh seed if it was today. Um, I compare this team. I've used this comparison with my team. My first year at SFA, we were 9 and 18. My second year at SFA, we were 13 and 15, but we won the last three conference games and went from not being in the tournament to being the fifth seed. And from there, we springboarded to 21A, 21-9 seasons, consecutive seasons, losing in the championship game on the opponent's home court because we were the two seed both years. So uh, I hope we can continue our winning ways and mirror that second season I had at SFA where uh, they, in that, in that respect, they hadn't gone to the tournament in six years before we went that year. And here, I believe we're 13 and 14. Mm -hmm. I would certainly like to, to not only get in the tournament, but produce the first winning season here at Texas State in a long time. I don't know how many years, but it's been a while. I want to say 10, 11, including my year last year. Any questions? You always talk about the starts of halves and the second half you made your first five shots from yeah. the field. How very, important very good was observation. that? Very good observation. We started both halves really strong, and I think that's important. I've heard Coach Bobby and I talk about that. you got to come out strong at the beginning at, of each half. It, it puts a, a mental uh, block on the other team and really lifts your kids up, particularly at home when the crowd is getting into it. And I think our guys did a good job today of, of, of hitting their shots and running out to leads in the, early in the first half and second half. It's a very good observation on your part. And then maybe about 10 minutes later when they make that <coughs> run there, DJ hits the three-pointer and I think Cave or um, Kendall gets a block on the next series. And it just seemed like whenever they kind of made a little bit of a run, your guys really responded and kind of kept the, kept the enough of a lead there. Yes. Well, you know, I think uh, DJ hit that three, I believe Caven. Uh, hit a key bucket when he drove the baseline and scored. I mean, that was a key bu basket for us. I mean, I think that kind of took the wind out of their sails. And, uh, you know, I, 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 we really – Imani had six rebounds today, but he was three for nine. He did not play a very good game. He knows it. You know, and, and uh, you know, I, I, I don't think that uh, DJ – DJ rebounded the ball real well for us, but – Offensively speaking, he had six turnovers and and, didn't, and shot it only twice, so he wasn't a key factor for us. So when you talk about those two guys not really uh, getting much offensive production, I think that this win really takes on a you know special meaning because there's two starters not scoring very many points there. It seemed like early on in the game, you guys were maybe playing a little bit more up tempo and getting more into passing lanes. Is that something that you we were definitely pass? I'm definitely emphasizing pressure of the basketball and the passing lanes. Uh, I'm a big believer that if you play great defense uh, and you get some get some uh, deflections and steals, you get easy buckets on the other end. You can add eight to ten points to your total just off your defense. So let's say you score sixty. You had eight to ten. All of a sudden, it looks like you're scoring more points when really it's your defense. So we are not a great outside shooting team. Therefore, I don't see us scoring in the high 70s or low 80s very often. Though lately we've been shooting the ball well. We shot 48 percent today. So I'm, I'll take that anytime. If they play defense like they did the first half, 
and in and not all of the second half, but certain parts of it, like to open up the half, I think we got a five second count. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a great start. Great start. And when we do that and shoot the ball well, I think we our chances of winning improve tremendously. Can you talk a little bit about your half court offense and how comfortable you feel with it at this point in the season? You know, let me just say this. And you got <laughs> All year long, I've, my guys have gotten shots and they've not made it. So I'm going to tell you that my offense is 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 my offense, and we have some we have some young men that when they're hitting it works, and when it doesn't, it doesn't. I can change. I, you've seen me, you've seen me calling out a, a, a number five game. That's an offense that is used by Dana Altman in Oregon, and when he was at Creighton, it's really from Johnny Orr, who's the famous coach who coached at Iowa State, Michigan. We have, we have 15 set plays. We have a single post, four out, one in offense. When my guys are hitting shots, any one of those things look great. We have to hit our shots. And that's about, that's about as simple as that. And Imani has to be more of a force inside. Today, I think they were just putting him one-on-one. -on -one. They tried to double him, and we hit, found, I want to say, Cam for a layup early in the game, a dunk. So they got out of it. It's one on one. Imani, you got to go and score. And he did not do that today. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm really feeling like somebody told me Imani's going to score seven points today. I was going to say, I don't know if we have a chance to win this game. But that's what happened. And most of the shots are within five, six feet of the basket. So I would, do I wish my offense was better? Yes. Do I think it looks good when we hit shots? Yes. Does it look bad when we don't? It looks bad. Before these games, you said you were interested to see how your team would respond to adversity. To be able to pull off these two wins, what, what does that say about your team? Well, I think it shows they show some character on their part. It, you know, shows some toughness. Uh, I'm very, I'm very happy for them and proud for, proud of them. Uh, I also want to thank the fans for coming out. They keep coming out, and uh, you know, I, I I I really appreciate that. I mean, some people would give up on us. And, I, you know, I'm seeing decent crowds out there, and I, especially in this cold weather. So uh, they help. They really do help our players play harder when they come.